The Diary of Samuel Pepys, 20th of September, 1660. At home and at the office, and in the garden walking with both Sir Williams all the morning. After dinner to Whitehall to Mr Dalton, and with him to my house, and took away all my papers that were left in my closet, and so I have now nothing more in the house or to do with it. We called to speak with my landlord, Beale, but he was not within, but spoke with the old woman, who takes it very ill that I did not let her have it, but I did give her an answer. From thence to Sir George Downing's, and stayed late there, he having sent for me to come to him, which was to tell me how my Lord Sandwich had disappointed him of a ship to bring over his child and goods, and made great complaint thereof. But I got him to write a letter to Lawson, which it may be do the business for him. I write in another also about it. While he was writing, and his lady and I had a great deal of discourse in praise of Holland. I water to the bridge, and so to Major Hart's lodgings in Cannon Street, who used me very kindly with wine and good discourse, particularly upon the ill method which Colonel Birch and the committee use in defending of the army and the navy promising the Parliament to save them a great deal of money when we judge that it will cost the King more than if they had nothing to do with it, by reason of their delays and scrupulous enquiries into the accounts of both. So home and to bed. The 21st of September, 1660. Office day. There all the morning and afternoon till four o'clock. Hence to Whitehall, thinking to have put up my books at my Lord's, but I'm disappointed from want of a chest which I had at Mr. Boyer's. Back by water about eight o'clock, and upon the water saw the corpse of the Duke of Gloucester brought down Somerset House stairs to go by water to Westminster to be buried tonight. I landed at the old swan and went to the hoop tavern, and, by a former agreement, sent for Mr. Chaplin, who, with Nicholas Osborne and one Daniel, came to us, and we drank off two or three quarts of wine, which was very good. The drawing of our wine causing a great quarrel in the house between the two drawers, which should draw us the best, which caused a great deal of noise and falling out till the master parted them and came up to us and did give us a large account of the liberty that he gives his servants all alike to draw what wine they will to please his customers. And we did eat above 200 walnuts. About 10 o'clock we broke up and so home and in my way I called in with them at Mr. Chaplin's, where Nicholas Osborne did give me a barrel of samphire, and showed me the keys of Mardyke Fort, which he, that was commander of the fort, sent him as a token when the fort was demolished, which I was mightily pleased to see, and will get them off him if I can. Home, where I found my boy, my maid's brother, come out of the country today, but was gone to bed, and so I could not see him tonight. To bed.